Yeah. We've had a bicycle band, we've had some spins at Stixon. He's dragged Miles out with him. Nice little back heel. Here's Patterson on his right foot. Cut, uh, cuts back onto his right. Can he dig out across? He can. Picks and say it. That's Bobby. Tommy Bradford, 97 goals. Watch out. And he gives Carl Schultz in the lead with their first field opportunity of the game. Great work by Dixon and Patterson in this near side. And Patterson managed to dig that across. It was a massive header by Sotlando. Forced Jonathan Henley into a fine save. With a blue ball was rammed home by Bradford, who was sniffing like a good fox in the box. And now it's Carl Schultz and Athletic 1, Tumbridge Angels nil. Tommy Bradford's got my goal up there as well. It'd be great to see him score on his debut. He goes very deep. Oh, almost oh, Northern Path of Patterson! Oh! What a strike! Christy Cowan tells everyone to calm down like he does it every week. Oh, Marshall and double their advantage. It's a very it's deep corner cool by Bradford, cool. nodded back in by Sobanu. Well, I say nodded back in, he just about guided it into the path of Patterson who let the ball bounce once and he just careered a half volley into the top corner. Carl Schultz and Athletic 2, Tunbridge Angels nil. And the winger marks his third Here's Bradford. Now look at the Swaby, who's on side. He's got Dixon and Mark Gibbs in the middle. Picks one out. Dixon! That's going It's an own goal by Arthur Lee. Courtney Swaby delivered a lovely cross. Dixon got on the end of it. Henley was forced into a fine save, but there it ricocheted off of Arthur Lee and went into the back of the net to make it Carl Schultz and Athletic 3. Tunbridge Angels nil. Carl Short and take a giant step. Robins Fans TV, a very belated Merry Christmas personally for myself, James Brout Sterling. Much happier times here at Colston Avenue, however, after the 3 0 win after Tunbridge Angels today. I've been joined by one of the goal scorers, Tommy Bradford. Nice to see you, mate. Uh, Tommy, how, what was said in the dressing room after that one? Four defeats uh, on the spin in the league, but back to winning ways today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, obviously delighted to win again, uh, get back in the groove of winning, which is important after you've lost a few. Just said. He basically just said, we know what we're capable of for, and as long as we work hard like that, because the minimum is hard work, you work hard, you will win games in this league, and that's what we did today. Yeah, but to be fair, we've been putting in the performances, haven't we, over the past couple of weeks, but the results just haven't been quite coming. Could you put your finger on why that might have been? Uh, I don't think we've been as good as we could have been. I think a few of the games we were poor and probably didn't deserve to win, but I think we was unlucky in the Leverett game. Uh, but yeah, mate, it's just how it is sometimes. Uh, maybe game management and maybe lost a bit of determination over that Christmas period, but we're, we're back in it now. And it, as long as we can repeat that, we'll be all right. Yeah, well, absolutely. I mean, today we certainly did that. To, uh, you opened the scoring in the first half as well. Back to uh, goal scoring ways. Talk to us about the goals. It looked like uh, there was a bit of jiggery pokery between Mike and Christy on the right, and then the ball came in. And it was it Ola that got the header? Yeah, yeah. It just bro it broke down uh, the right for Christy. Can't really remember too much about that. And uh, obviously he's whipped it in. I've seen Ola cut. Yeah, it was Ola. He's coming and got a good header on it, a good save from the keeper really, and I was just in a, a good position at the time, just to tap it in. In my commentary, I called you a fox in the box. Is that a fair summary? I'll take that. <laughs> I'll take that. And uh, that puts you on 97 career goals for Carl Shorten as well. Obviously, not something that you want a lot of pressure on your shoulders about, but it must be in the back of your mind. It is slightly. My old man reminds me every week before we, before games. So. Thanks, Dad. <laughs> but yeah, uh, it, it's in the back of my mind, but it's not uh, something that I think about or put too much pressure on myself. It'll happen when it happens. I'm not putting too much pressure about scoring goals and getting that team first. That's, that's, as long as we win, I don't care. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, uh, it was a funny thing. So I was thinking when I came off the pitch earlier, like. Jers hasn't scored in nearly two months. You hadn't until today, nearly two months. Mike hasn't hit the back of the net for a while. And Omar, all of his goals came in November, I think it was. So, like, you strikers seem to be struggling a little bit at the moment. A little... Yeah, when you put it like that, yeah, cheers for pointing that out. Well, um, it's just something I thought about, you know. Yeah, uh, I, I can't... It happens sometimes. You're just... Uh, all four of us not to be scoring, it's just unlucky. Normally you have one or two, but for all four of us, it's just unlucky. We've had chances. We're just not being as clinical as we maybe should be. Yeah, I mean, Mike had that one in the in the second half that led to the own goal. He's, I was desperate for it to go in. Mike could have had a hat trick on another day today, so it's just, it's just rubber the green sometimes. Their keeper had a good game and probably lost a good save, so it will come. Well, listen, any plans for New Year? We got we haven't got a game, have we, over that uh, the that week? Cause it falls in the middle of the week. Quiet one, mate. Rest, rest up, rest up and stretch. That's what I'll be doing. Ever the professional and being reminded you're only three goals away now from a hundred. 
Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well done, mate. Cheers. Cheers, sir. Thank you. One nil to the Gunners. There goes my clean sheet for fantasy football. Uh, don't worry about that. Up the Gunners. James Barrett Serling still here in a buzzing clubhouse as Carl Shorten get back to winning ways with a 3 0 victory over Tunbridge Angels today. I've been joined by goalkeeper Billy Bishop. Billy, decent afternoon's work. Clean sheet for yourself. Feeling happy? Yeah, no, over the moon. Um, you know, great team performance. I think you, you've got to look at everyone on that, everyone on that pitch putting a, putting 100%. You know, we we worked really hard against Leverett uh, on Boxing Day, and unfortunately we didn't get the result. But um, you know, we've come out again today. Um, I'm really grafted, really grafted in the quality. The quality's come through today. So now I'm really happy, really happy for the boys, and it's, it's a great win. The, the, the loss against Leverhead was disappointing, obviously a last minute deflected goal that went in. Um, could you just give us and the fans sort of an indication of what the mood was like in the dressing room after that and then kind of what was said in the build up to today? Yeah, no, obviously just really, really disappointed. I mean, like, like I said, could not fault the boys' work rate against Leverhead. Um, and uh, like you said, a, a last minute goal, sloppy goal is, uh, is really hard to take. But, you know, Pete said, you know, he, he couldn't fault how hard we worked in that game. So he said, we've just got to build on that, build on the work rate, and, and the result will come, and it did. So, yeah, good. Did you have a, a favourite goal of this afternoon? It's got to be Christy. It's got to be Christy. I, I, think, I think that might be everyone's favourite goal. But, uh, no, it's, it's lovely to see Christy back, um, back with us. And, you know, that's what he can do. That's what he can do, and now, now he's back playing with us. Hopefully, consistently, he's putting in performances like that and scoring goals like that. It's it's great, great for everyone at the club. I, I heard a rumour that we're trying to put together the Bostick South winning team back together. <laughs> oh, I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> maybe, maybe. Um, good to see Tommy get on the score sheet today as well, though. Um, I did allude to him in our interview that the strikers have been misfiring a little bit recently, but great to see him back in there. Yeah, no, definitely. You know what you're going to get with Tommy. You know, really comfortable on the ball. He's consistently an 8 out of 10 every week. And, you know, if he's adding goals to his game, he's, it's, it's only going to be good for him and good for the team. So, no, really nice to see Tom, Tom back on the score sheet. And a, a clean sheet for yourself, which is fantastic to see. Uh, they had a couple of chances late on and there was a great flying save. I think with about 10 minutes to go, you kept, you kept clinging on to it. You weren't going to give that up today, were you? No, uh, no, nah, nah, I was obviously really happy to keep a clean sheet, you know, and to be able to come in and, and play my part in in a great performance, it's, that's obviously what I want to be doing. So, no, really happy and, you know, credit to the boys in front of me. They've, <laughs> oh, no. oh dear, it's one all. <laughs> um, cut. The boss is happy, double happy. Double happy, look at him. <laughs> I've forgotten where we were now. I've forgotten. I've got, I've got one more question. I'll yeah, fire yeah, it out yeah. here. Fire. This is the money shot here, yeah? Me, me and Bill. Me and Bill. Um, just finally, it, it was a strange game, though. I think 3-0 like, to uh, a neutral would look a little bit like it was a one-sided match. But Tunbridge more than played their part today, didn't they? And it's strange to see them in a run of form like we were. Yeah, definitely. I mean, Tunbridge have been, been one of them sides for the last few years that have always been up there and in and around, it, in and around them kind of playoff places. Um, so yeah, it, it's surprising to see them in, in the form that they're in, but you know it happens. It's a it's a strange old league, this league. So you do get that. Um, but no, definitely they're you know they're effective at what they do. You know they get the ball forward. They're very direct. They've got they've got some quality in midfield, and you know it. To be fair, we, we defended really well when we limited them to chances. We didn't really give them clear clear cut chances. So again, you know. They, they do what they do well, but credit to us, we've, we've defended well and, you know, everyone was desperate for a clean sheet. Uh, I think you could kind of see that there. After a disappointment boxing day, we, we really needed that clean sheet. So, no, really happy. Well, well done on signing off the year with a victory and great stuff. Cheers, Bill. Nice one. Oh! He's in, he's in. Billy's sick as a parrot, look. He was over the moon earlier, he said. Yeah. Football's a funny old game. Anyway, Carl Shorten won today anyway, that's the most important thing. Yeah. 
Robins fans still celebrating after the 3-0 victory against Tunbridge Angels today. And I've been joined by staunch Robins supporter, Alan. Alan, first of all, belated Merry Christmas to you, sir. Thank you very much, Jim. And same to you and yours and everybody, Chris, everybody here. Fantastic day and I hope you have a splendid start to the new year. And it was, uh, well, we've kick-started it in the right way, haven't we, with a 3-0 win today. What was your take on, on the game overall? Well, it's a game that I've looked forward to all season, Tunbridge Angels. I've, I know a couple of the, the associates there I've, I've, I've through, you know, sort of vicarious means, but I've always very much um, respect for Tunbridge Angels. I know they've been slipping a little bit over recent times, but in the first half, uh, I have to say that, you know, they definitely had me worried, um, and the way that they didn't seem to be out of our half for a good 30, 35 minutes of the half, but then suddenly it dawned on me that there was a strategy being played by the Robins, and I think Peter had used this as a tactic, uh, a very brilliant tactic to kind of lull them and then uh, sort of give them a, a curveball in the second half which they didn't seem to have an answer to. Um, I think they were a little bit shocked at the way the game had turned around and that's a, due to a brilliant strategy being played by our player manager Peter Adonai. So top man Peter, thank you very much, much respect. Um, we're very lucky to have him, that's it. Oh, well, here, here. But do you think 3 0 might have flattered to deceive a little bit? Because Tunbridge were never really out of the game, were they? No, I just think we hit them on the break and we the, the goalkeeper, their goalkeeper played such a, a, a very staunch game. Um, but we seem to whack them on the rebound, which we found great difficulty in doing in the past, uh, sort of hitting on the rebound. But today we were just magic in that respect. Courtney Swaby, um, uh, Christy Patterson, um, they just turned the game round, turned it on its head. And credit to every player on the pitch. Brilliant in defence. You know, just uh, amazing in defence. And, um, you know, and in the attack, when we were called on, we put it away. And that's, you can't ask any more of a side. So very happy. Now, this being the last game of 2018, good to get a victory. Yeah. What's been the highlight of the year, of the calendar year for you so far, though? Dorking, without question. Dorking, to get one back for Ricky, um, uh, beating them in the... Uh, uh, what was it? In, was it? Sorry, was it? A, the, FA yeah, the FA Trophy. And But is that your highlight of the whole year, from January to, to now? or? I'd say so. I mean, I was so... I, you know, Dorking are a fantastic side. Top of the table... Uh, and and they just deserved really what they got, which was beaten by us. So um, that's very satisfying. I'll probably find ten more when the camera stops rolling. But yeah, what about you? What about you? Well, I think maybe collecting the Bostick South Trophy in April was, was oh pretty outstanding. God. Oh yeah, no, I'm sorry. Well, this is it. You see, I'm just I'm just lucky yesterday, man. <laughs> I don't think any further back. But no, I mean wonderful stuff. To be a part of that uh, has been just a privilege to, you know, and you feel a little bit of a, it's a fiddle really because it's what the boys do, it's what the management do. But let's say that Robbins is a club and um, we're all part of it. And I felt really feel part of something very special. Excellent. Well, thank you, Alan, for thank joining us and have a happy thank new you, year, mate. Thank you. All the best, Chris. Lots of love. Take care. Bye now. Bye-bye.